Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nikhil, and this is my very first channel, Dope Motions, and this is my very first tutorial also. So today I'll be showing you a cool tutorial on how to create a logo reveal in After Effects using shape layers. So before we get started, let me just show you what we're gonna be creating today. <music> Yep, so that looks pretty cool. So let's just jump into After Effects and let's get started. So first of all, we have to click this create a new composition. I like to keep it 1920 into 1080. Hit OK on 30 frames. And then what we're gonna do is first of all we have to create a background. So right click on it, new solid. I'll name it BG for background. I'll keep it. Let's see. Um, I'll keep it yellow. And then I'm just gonna lock it because we don't need it. So first of all, I'll go here and select this title action sheet, which will pop up the school guides, which are very useful. Trust me on that. So right click on here, go to new, go to shape layers, then select this pen tool, and then create a cool triangle. You can create how big you want I'll keep it right there yep and then what I'm gonna do is bring up the scale properties uncheck the constraint properties of the scale and then you can see we can move it horizontally differently and vertically differently so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale this or adjust this as per my need so I'll just bring it up right there yeah this much will be cool and then what I'm gonna do is hit P and bring up and bring down the triangle right there out of the frame because now what we're gonna do is is key framing so hit on the stopwatch to bring up this key frame right here I'll go to about um, I'll just first of all I'll just minimize my workflow on my work area you can see and I'll just go to about 20 frames and then bring it up all the way up right there looks good so now we have a very basic and lame animation so to make it more cool what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this cool both the keyframes hit F9 and then go to graph editor and then just make the motion more precise and more cool now this you can do with with scripts which we get on net you know we get a lots of tons of script you know like this I have this motion script right here a easy v script but most of the people won't have the script so I just showed you how to do it simple as that so we have the school animation it starts fast and gets a little slower and looks cool and then what I'm gonna do is check on this motion circles what what this circle does is it gives a motion if the object is moving right there you can see it gets a blurry little which gives a cool motion so now I'll go to about 20 frames and hit control D control D two times now we have three layers I'll just bring it up below this and just three below this two and now what I'm gonna do is select this both the layers hit control and close bracket to cut it up and then what I'm gonna do is bring up the scale property of both these layers so now I'll again check on this constraint properties of both these layers select the second layer hit on the scale properties go to about one second and bring up this so I'll change the color so that you can see it more better and bring up this right there yeah this will be good then what I'm gonna do is hit in the scale property of the third triangle and go to about 10 frames and bring it up right there yeah looks good and I'll change the color again make it a more darker so that you can see it and then select this keyframe hit F9 to easy ease it so I'll just quickly preview it what we have created still now you can see right there looks so cool yep 
so now what I'm gonna do is half way through I'll just select this <coughs> triangles and hit R for the rotational properties and I'll go to right about let's see 10 I'll go to about 15 frames right there hit on the rotational properties go to 25 frames right there and just type in 180 degrees so that it will flip around so now we have this thing yep looks good again select this keyframe hit F9 to ease it half way through now the second part of the tutorial now what we're gonna do is bring up the guidelines again create a new triangle again and I'll just keep it a little smaller this time you can keep it the same size but I'll keep the smaller and now I'll just select a cool color I'll make it this now what I'm gonna do is I'll go to about right there for about 25 frames and cut this out and now bring it down below our three triangles now first of all I'll position it right there bring up the scale properties uncheck the scale and just set it where you want it yep this looks cool so first of all what I'm gonna do is I'll go to five frames right here hit on the stopwatch and come back to 25 frames and bring it up to zero so now what we have is school animation right here you can see it yep so now after this what I'm gonna do is I'll just select this hit F9 to easy ease it control D again two times bring this layers down and arrange it in the order like you see you can see right here we have the order of one two three four five six so now after this what I'm gonna do is I'll go to right about there and select both the layers hit control close bracket to cut it up and then what I'm gonna do is hit S and hit S to bring up the scale property right there and I'll just delete these keyframes because we don't need it anymore and now what we're gonna do is check on this constraint property right there click on the fifth layer hit the scale properties go to about 15 frames and bring up right there so I'll change the color again so that you can see it a little better and then click on the third I mean the sixth shape layer and then go to about 25 frames and then bring it up right there yep so what we have is I'll just select this and hit F9 it's very important to hit F9 so that it it will easy ease your keyframes you know so I'll just play it what we have till now you can see right there looks so cool yep so half way through so now what I'm gonna do is select this first triangle this purple triangles right click and pre-compose it I'll name it P U R if I can spell it the purple triangle and then I'm gonna select this three and right click and pre-compose it and name it green I think it's green color right <laughs> so uh, yep we are right there yep in 25 frame I'll just hit B so that we can minimize the workflow so right there on 25 frames all almost to about three seconds we have our animation done and then what I'm gonna do is um, click on the position of both select bring down the position properties and then hit a keyframe on this go to about five frames or maybe ten frames and and then move it up oh no 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 I'm sorry for it control Z I'll just you don't need to pre-compose it I'll just Hit Ctrl G. I'm sorry for that. So select this first three layers and hit P to bring up the position properties. Hit a keyframe right there. Select this keyframes and bring this keyframe to about third three seconds. Go to about ten frames and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them all the way out. 
you know, right there. Yep. And now what I'm going to do is come again to these keyframes, select these three triangles, the green ones, hit on the P to bring on the position properties, then go again to 10 frames and bring them down right there. Yep, looks good. So now what we're gonna do is I'll select this and hit F9 to easy ease it. So now what we have is the school rebuilding text. Now you can see this green triangles does not have the circle selected, so it's not getting blurred. So I'll just select the circles pretty quick. Yep, so you can see your animation right there. So now the only thing remains is the logo wheel. So this in this tutorial, I'm gonna type in a cool text. I'll just hit Control A to select it all. Hit U to just close the keyframes. <coughs> I'll just type in mm, I don't know. I just type in dope. Yep. And I'll just. Make it a little smaller right there. Go to line properties, make it in the center. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up from right there, bring down below all the layers so that it's right there, and you can see right there. Woohoo! Here is the dope. So I'll just bring it right there and hit on the scale properties. I'll make it about zero and then I'll go to about 10 frames and make it up 200. So now what we have is this cool logo reveal you can say your title reveal whatever you can say it. hit F9. So let's just finally play our title which we have created. I'll just pretty quick render it out. Looks so cool, man. <clears throat> yep. So we are done with the tutorial. Right there, you can see the school title we have created. Looks so cool. A text pop out right there and makes it look so cool. Now, the text you can also select the motion blur so that it looks a little blurry you can see right there where while it comes it makes it look more realistic you can see right there so yep i hope you learned something new today and thanks for watching guys